everybody it's Scorpius HD welcome back to another video so now today we're gonna actually be putting all of the interior parts that we've taken out of my car to get them all fixed up like repaint it and sand it off and make them all smooth we're going to be putting all, all those parts back in my car today so now yes I did not film us actually taking them out and actually painting them but I did a little bit of it on my snapchat if you guys have not yet followed me on my or added me on my snapchat it'll be linked in the description box down below Anyway, let's go ahead and go back to the backyard and let's go ahead and go see what everybody's up to. As you guys can see, we actually went ahead and put the headliner back in. The headliner looks really, really cool. We haven't even seen this car with this headliner in yet, so it's pretty cool. We've done a little bit more of this side of this side's floor mat, or the floor of the side of the, of the floor and the passenger side of the car. So now we're about to do the the, the driver side. We're starting to down process the process of the rear. As you guys can see, we are now spraying um, down the, the center part of the rear seats where you can like put your arms and stuff. Here we go, now we're starting to full down process of the rear as here. The, I'm saying everything wrong today of the driver's side. There we go. Floor mats are now all completely dyed. It does look really, really cool. This car is going to look incredible by this time. I'm actually very excited. Here's one of the panels that we're actually just about to put in. This actually goes to the back. You can see where that little uh, red panel I'll show you guys back here. So if you guys can actually see this piece right here, that, that piece it actually goes around here. So we're actually about to go ahead and put that piece back on where it needs to go. So now hooking up the rear uh, seat belts where they need to go as well. And we've got, then we put the passenger, si uh, passenger side panel in for the rear. Where the speaker is actually held as well. Which, the speakers do not work. Check this, check this whole side panel out. It thinks, check this thing out. This car is coming together a whole lot quicker than I expected. This car is almost done. And I can't wait to finally get my permit in, which I'm still kind of wondering where the heck it is. It's the whole passenger side door, door area completely done. From the, from the, from the rear hatch to the door to down there near the floor, down there where the, the, the footrest is. All these parts have been fully repainted, sanded, and to put a little bit of contrast into it, we decided to make where the uh, where the uh, door handle is black to make it have a little bit more of, of a contrast. The blackout rear lights are here for my car. Check that out. It completely makes it have a much different look, and also it makes it helps it to where it can actually cover it all up, cover up all the other one, cover cover all the cracks on this one where we don't have to replace it. Now check it out. We now have. We have now completely now put in the whole drive, the whole passenger yeah. side of the car with the headliner and all with the T top off. Yes, I am. This car looks brand thinking new, like it just came out of the factory. Especially when we look at it from this angle. Check out all of these pieces. We still have, like I said, we still have yet to put the uh, shift ladder back in. We also have to put the we have to, we also have to put the center console back in. Everything like the center console lid, so we got all the different stuff to put in the driver side and stuff as well. We still have a little bit of time left, a little bit of stuff left to do, but this whole passenger side is completely, completely done. The driver side is now almost done. Now we got the center. Now we got the. Now we got the center console in. Okay, it is now currently the next day, and I'm also home from work, as you guys can clearly see. And you guys may be wondering why are you guys filming? Why are you filming on a separate day? That's mainly because as I was editing my video, I realized the video was less than five minutes long. And I gotta make sure the video is over ten minutes long. Because that's my goal for every single one of my videos. And so, I decided to make up for that time. We, I decided I was going to go sit in my car, talk about a couple more updates about my Camaro, and not see a couple more updates about the channel. And also, as sitting out here with us today, we have the 2019... Chevrolet Camaro SS, but anyway, nothing, nothing to do with the SS. Anyway, let me gonna go just go ahead and come to my Camaro. And let me go ahead and go talk about a couple of updates. Okay, so now you guys now meet me inside my '97 Camaro, and which do please do not mind the glare that's hitting my face because my car has a sunroof and windows on the side, and the sun is right over there, so it's shining right on my face, but. I had to go in and get this video filmed anyway, so now, I guess the first subject I'm going to talk about is an update to the channel. So now, in case you guys did not know, I actually have not told anybody about this yet on Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter, or Facebook at the time of filming this video, but I, I'm actually on, got on order 
a brand new vlogging camera. It's a 4K 60 frames per second video camera. It's the best deal I could find. It's $140. It's the best deal I could find. I will leave a link to it in the description box down below in case you guys want to go and get it for yourself. Not sponsored, by the way. So now, the reason why I'm getting this is because, one, I'm having to use this, this crappy microphone that I'm using because I've had nothing but issues with it all day long. And I'm trying to film this video, and I've already been out here for 15 minutes just trying to film a five-minute clip. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so now, anyway. Now, we, that's also one of the updates as well. And I guess for now, we go ahead and talk about something else and that is updates about the car I decided to go ahead and move my camera angle this way just so you guys can be able to see my face a little better make it seem a bit better and also the glare will not be as bad and, and yeah, now now I guess I'm going to talk to you guys about what I actually have now coming for my Camaro one is this really cool steering wheel it's regular leather it's the high quality leather possible it's the same thing that we have in our 2019 Chevy Camaro SS except the stitching in our SS is gray. The stitching of the ones that are coming are orange. Yes, I'm gonna have some orange and leather, orange leather steering wheel covers coming from my car. Because you guys know, I'm going to be putting orange racing stripes on my car, which is why the outside and I might as well go ahead and get some orange stripe or orange of leathers put on my steering wheel just to make it seem, just to bring a little bit more of the color of the outside into the end, which is what. Which is kind of like what we want. We kind of like want to contrast from the out and in. It's kind of like what we did on the interior. We made a contrast of light gray, black, dark gray, light gray. as in the seats. Oh, I can hit my microphone there. And also, just a little bit of orange here and, here and there. I'm also now currently saving up my money for, for white 30th anniversary um, Camaro seat covers. Which I'll pull up a picture of what those look like up on this car right now. I'm getting those because those are, I think, are the best looking seats ever put into any Chevy Camaro on the planet. I'm dead serious about that. Which is why things are, they're, they're, they cost a lot of money, but I can hopefully get saved up all that money. I'm not going to tell you guys how much it is, but the thing is, uh, I can say it's a lot of money, and I hope I can save up for it in time and actually be able to get some cool stuff in for my car, which I am pretty excited about if you guys are going to ask me. What I also have coming from my car is nothing to do just with the car itself. It's actually new pieces for my car that's actually going to be custom and my car a one-off. Because as you guys, if you guys did not know right now, my car is currently a one-off. Um, this is my car is the only Camaro like this in the world. As of, right, as of right now, it's going to be much more of a one-off once the blackout head headlights get here, the stitched leather gets here, my steering wheel, and as also as well as soon as I get my 30th anniversary season. And the interior, no other design is like this because one, we fully sanded this, this interior, fully repainted it just to make it look like the way it is right now. We did a lot of work onto this car and, uh, and I think it's going to look even cooler once I finally can say I got a one-off. Anyway, what, what else we got coming for the car? I actually have a new key fob coming for the car as well. A, a key fob that just unlocks and locks the doors, as well as sounds the horn and maybe turns on the light as well. I was going to get one of those starting ones that can, we can actually double click a button and start the car. The thing is those, those are one or two expensive too. They are a pain to fix or like to set up because you have to take off the starter and you have to create some sort of mechanism in the starter. So it would just not, it just would not be great. And so once that gets here, we pretty much have nothing else really coming for the car because we don't really need anything else for the car as of right now. We already, we already put probably $1,000 into this car. Just let you guys know, we bought this car for $1,000. This car's probably worth three grand now. We could probably, and once I get the LS1 swap in this, and once that LS1 gets swapped, I could probably sell this car for maybe $12,000, which is a decent amount of money. Considering the C5 Corvette, you can, take, you can sell them for about 20 grand. Check this out, yo. The UPS driver is here. The UPS driver is here. I wonder if he has a package for me. Because I do have a package on the way. We'll just have to wait and see. You know what? Let's, before I come back to the car, let me go ahead and go check out what we got in the mail. Okay, let's go ahead and go see what we actually got in the mail. Okay, turns out it was not anything for me. It was actually something for my stepfather. We actually got this cool Corvette light. But anyway, let me go ahead and get back inside the car. Let me go ahead and go finish discussing everything I was discussing. 
Okay, so now, now that we're done taking a look at that, I'm going to go ahead and keep, it, keep on explaining everything. Okay, so now to continue, I'm going to go ahead and I'll talk about the giveaway winner. So now, the current giveaway winners are Tyler the Best 35 Space TYY, Sean Kelton, aka 2000's Kid, and also the King Family 4K. All three of those channels will be linked in the description box down below. Popped up in pictures in the middle of the screen, and also be popped up as a card at the top right corner. Make sure you guys go give them all a follow because they were there will hopefully be some videos on their channel and they've seen them of them either unboxing the box that I sent them with the Hot Wheels card that I sent them, and also maybe maybe even a shout even maybe they may even give me a shout out. I don't know. And once they do post that video, make sure you guys go check them out and go comment on that video that I sent you. Make sure you guys can do that, please. And that is all we have to talk about my Camaro and also have updates about my channel. That's everything that you guys need to know and also actually adding all my parts to my car. So if you guys, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure you guys go hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and also go ahead and go drop a like on this video to support me and the channel. And also guys, go subscribe to my, all my other YouTube channels, they will all be linked in the description box down below as well, as well as also all my other social- ooh, I just saw a Jaguar F-Type SVR over there. And also go subscribe, go follow me on all my social medias, and anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video, peace out.